Hello everybody, my name is Kotline3639, welcome back to another video. Today in this one is going to be another card analysis video, and in this one it's going to be on Artemate Slay and uh, reviewing to see how good the card actually is. Is. So yeah, this card has been just recently revealed to us and it's going to be coming in the Power of the Elements set that comes out on August 5th, 2022 for the TCG, at least for now, who knows if they end up delaying it for or not. But yeah, people are freaking their shit about this card and this card is honestly pretty, pretty decent. I'll tell you that once we get to the effect, if you have not read it uh, yet. But yeah, people are freaking out about this card, so I do want to cover this card in it. You know, when I first read the card, I kind of thought it was bonkers as well. Well, so I kind of wanted to make a video on it and speaking of that I have not uploaded in about a month and I do understand that so the people who are subscribed Yeah, I know I haven't uploaded in a month. Um, but yeah Once I saw this card, I'm like I have to make a video on this uh, Card because this card is absolutely ridiculous. So enough for me talking though Let's actually get into the effect of the monster Alrighty, so Artemate slays Effect. So it is just a normal spell card, so there's nothing really good like any quick plays or anything about that. Uh, but, you know, the first line of text is that your opponent can uh, cannot activate monster effects in response to this card's activation. That is absolutely ridiculous, so your opponent cannot already respond to it with their monster effects, so that's is pretty ridiculous, kind of like a Dark Ruler No More situation. But its effect is you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls with the same monster as the card type you sent, either Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, Pendulum, or Link monster that you sent. Return that targeted monster back into the deck. That is absolutely insane. So let's say you you target a fusion monster. So you, you send a fusion monster first, then target a fusion monster in their field. And then all of a sudden that monster returns back to the hand and your opponent cannot respond to that. Now you get an Entis effect in Graveyard as well. That is absolutely such a ridiculous effect. Now it is kind of generic as well as long as you're kind of playing all the you know fusion synchro xyz's and link monsters you can send any of them yeah i gave the example of entis because entis is actually a good fusion monster that wants to be sent to graveyard but anything works any synchro monster any xyz you again as long as you're playing it you can target their like you know if they're playing an xyz you can send any xyz monster to make sure that targeted monster gets returned back to the hand it actually gets returned to the extra deck because you're targeting um extra deck monsters so they're going to get returned to the extra deck except for pendulums of course uh pendulums will actually do return back to hand unless again they're the extra deck versions of pendulum so yes a very very good card effect that makes it a little bit more broken depending on what you want to send off of the cards uh so yeah very good card effect in this card so how good is artimate slay very fucking good now it probably depends on the format you're in if you're playing in a format where you know people are just summoning big bodies from their main deck then yeah it's not gonna be that good something like outreach comes up to mind if they're just playing an outlet deck it probably is not gonna be that good but you know considering in the current format we are in where people are summoning from the extra deck a lot yeah, it's going to be a very good card for that reason. Just being able just to return anything back to the extra deck without your opponent responding to it is very, very insane. They can't re respond to it with uh, spells and traps, of course, but they can't respond to it with monster effects, most likely what they want to do. So if you go uh, Artemate Slate targets something like in, uh, Destiny uh, Hero Phoenix Enforcer, all of a sudden they can't pop their own Enforcer because they can't respond to Artemate Slay. That's just how good this card is is now i do have some generic stuff you can think of when you are wanting to play this card and what you want to throw into your extra deck again it could be any fusion synchro xyz or link it does not matter but i put these together because this actually gets you something to do in the graveyard as well so we're going to start off with the fusion of course elder entities in the test is very very good uh, again once it's sent to the graveyard you can target a card on the field and pop that card so basically you make artemis slay if you target a fusion monster, basically a two for one, because not only you're returning that monster back to hand, then the Tisk gets to pop a card on your opponent's field as well, basically making this card a two for one, which is very, very amazing. Fossil Warrior basically does the same thing that Tisk does, but instead of uh, triggering once it gets sent to the graveyard, it's its own activation in graveyard where you have to activate it in graveyard on a separate chain. 
Uh, so yeah, those are pretty good fusion. If you're playing something like Shadals, uh, I mean, just any Shadal fusion getting sent to Graveyard is absolutely insane. But that's more of an in-archetype card than it is a very generic card. For Synchros, you got Herald of the Arclight if you are playing a ritual-based strategy something like drytron comes up to mind sending in herald of the arc light is very insane just to get that search and ma makes uh artemis slate basically go hand neutral omega again it's very generic in graveyard can shuffle shuffle uh, cards back into the deck from your opponent's graveyard if you want to do that that's very very good and then the adagnister card uh synchro monster as well does work in this case just if one of your cards is destroyed trigger its effect in graveyard which is very very good XYZs, there isn't that many good XYZ monsters that you can send that isn't archetype specific. There's a lot of ghost trick ones that do something, but that only gets ghost trick cards back. Uh, but yeah, XYZs don't have that much of a generic card. Um, Toad is one of those things where you can send Toad and then trigger Toad's effect in Graveyard to add it back to the extra deck. So that is something you can consider as well. Number 71, when it's sent to Graveyard, can add a rank up uh, magic card from your deck to hand. Again, that's if you want to play those cards in your deck. That is something you can do with number 71. And then for Link Monsters, just any Tri-Bagage monster works in this scenario. Something like a Omen, if you're playing a Wing Beast strategy and you already have cards banished, can actually get you a search if you want to. Something like um, the uh, Bear Brum can search you a Revolt if you want to. And then most likely the most generic one out of all of them is the Baron Blossom, where you can actually just get a draw one and then place one from the bottom from your hand to the bottom of the deck, basically just getting one deeper into your deck to try to help you combo that way. That's probably going to be the most generic Link monster that's going to work with this card. But again, just any Synchro, Fusion, XYZ, Link, or Pendulum will work. I did not include Pendulum because, again, you have to kind of send Pendulums from your deck into the extra deck. Again, I know there are Pendulum Fusions and stuff like that you can do as well. There really isn't any good Pendulums that I kind of looked up, like, if they do anything in Graveyard. Because, again, they're most likely getting sent to the extra deck, so you're most likely wanting to have effects in the extra deck that you maybe can come up. But yeah, very good card overall. Again, this is some generic stuff that you can think about when you want to play this uh, card. Very, very good card. Again, I feel like it just depends on the matchup. Honestly, if you're versing Outlaws, then it's a very dead card. Uh, but again, if extra deck becomes a thing, especially in August, if something like... Um, uh, what's their name? Uh, Branded is being a very big deck. Again, just targeting a fusion, getting a two-for-one. Very huge. Again, something like um, Dogmatica can send Titanclad and stuff like that as well to make sure they get uh, advantage during the end phase and stuff like that. Very, very good card. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, honestly, probably one of the best cards for 2022. Uh, probably something you probably should pick up if you're not going to pick up anything else this year. Probably this is the card you want to pick up this year. Uh, but that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel. But I haven't been uploading that much. So, yeah, I don't know. I do apologize for that. I just don't have the desire to do it. There's, like, nothing really been happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! Besides, you know, just Scythe Lock and stuff like that. Uh, but this card made me want to do a video because this card is absolutely great. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.